All right, Iowa State and Oklahoma Sooners coming off their first loss. Iowa State's been disappointing. Yeah, well, we talked about the Sooners. I don't think they have an identity. I'd love to give you some more stats and analytics, but I just think Iowa State right now is a better team. They know who they are. I like Iowa State over the Sooners. Doesn't it feel like Oklahoma's the luckiest team in the entire nation this year? <laughs> it really does feel that way. It's yeah. fun to watch, but uh, <laughs> they had a speed bump last week against Baylor, yep. but I feel like uh, Lincoln Riley's going to figure out another way to win. If they were at if we were at the at home for Sooners, I would have picked. I would have picked. Uh, oh, if it was Iowa State. Yeah, Iowa yeah. State. Yeah, yeah. Iowa State, I feel yeah. like if because we're at, at Oklahoma, oh, yeah. I'm going Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not yeah. so Good. fast, Desmond. Oh, cool. Not so fast. <laughs> Oklahoma really needs you, sir. Really needs you, sir. I, Oklahoma. I think we learn about Oklahoma's maturity, which has been an issue for them, bringing right. it every single week. After a loss, Bedlam next week. Still a lot at stake to get to a Big 12 championship. I think they rebound today. I think they play well and win. All right, Baylor and Surgeon, Kansas State quickly here, guys. Oh, Baylor's defense travels. They're going to beat K-State. Uh, Baylor's riding high off that win off of OU, OU last, year, last uh, week, but they haven't proven they can win on the road. They haven't proven it to me. Even though I play the piano for a little bit, you got to prove something to me. Because I'm on a game day, baby. Yeah, Make it right. picks. That's right. We need proof. We need proof. I love My man. They'll, Kansas State, two touchdowns. Yeah, wow. They'll prove it to you today. Oklahoma, that win with Oklahoma yeah. is not a fluke. Okay. Baylor. Baylor. I, I just think the emotions after a big win, going to Manhattan, Kansas, yeah. is tricky. I'm with you. I'm going Kansas State. I think they get the win. Oh, wow. Okay, that's at 5.30 Eastern time, 90% of America saying that Baylor is going to win. Let's move ahead to the game in the Pac-12, UCLA and USC. Oh, I think the Bruins are going to win. USC, they, they can't figure out, you know, their offense is very inconsistent. They start another quarterback now, Darter starting, so I'm going with UCLA. I mean, is the Pac-12 even playing the same sport as we are over here in the Big Ten? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just going, I'm going USC just because it's one less letter, I have to say. <laughs> Double not so fast, my friend. <laughs> The Fighting Kellys win this one. The Fighting Kellys. A this big is win. this is for all of us traditionalists the all uni game. Yeah. I'm um, not just the day, maybe the year. I think Chip Kelly in the run game. I'm going with Bruins. Yes. Both home uniforms. Yeah. In the Coliseum yeah. Too. That's Love always it. sweet. And tonight on ABC, Oregon and Utah. That's probably a preview of the Pac-12 championship game. This is like a, an appetizer fight for the Crawford fight too. This is going to be a four four uh, quarter brawl. I love this game. I'm going with the Ducks because I think the Ducks defense is going to make some some turnovers late and get the offense the ball and they're going to score. So I'm going with Oregon. Listen, if if Oregon doesn't lose next week to Oregon State, which I believe that they will, yeah. they're going to they're destined to lose this week against and against Utah. And I speak for a lot of people in this building. Right now. <laughs> we want to see those Ducks fall. We want to see the Ducks fall. Falling Ducks. Number three, not so fast. Number three, not fast. <laughs> right. The Oregon Ducks get the upset at Utah. Upset. I, I, I really think Anthony Brown, the quarterback from Oregon, is the key to the entire game. Going on the road and dealing with that environment, not turning the ball over. It's going to be a great game. I'm going to go with Oregon in a close one. Uh, they pull it out. Okay, let's go to the SEC. Alabama can sew up the SEC West quickly. They beat Arkansas today. I don't even know why this one's on our list. Of course they win. They win big today. I'm going Bama. Roll Tide. Let's go. I got Bama winning big. They got that number two next to their name, but they hate it. Also, they got a team coming in with a rank next to their name. They're going to get fired up, which they should be fired up because when you're Alabama and you got the, the, the schedule that they have, it's not very often that you see a ranked opponent. <laughs> Yeah, what do you <laughs> Alabama, shot. Alabama, Alabama wins this one by 19. They don't cover. I got I got Bama and Brian Robinson running the football today for Alabama. It'll be a tough game. And Saban's been sounding the alarm just a little bit, and so too has Ryan Day. He says that his team is chasing greatness and that every second of the day matters. So no second will matter more up to this point than the next 3,600 seconds that the Buckeyes face against Michigan State. That pursuit of greatness will continue into next week when Ohio State faces Michigan. But the Spartans, they were in our hotel last night. They were not tight. They were all business. They see this as a major opportunity to state their claim as a contender to the Big Ten East and the college football playoff. In my four years here, I don't think I've played in the game with so much on the line. First place in the Big Ten East, an opportunity to keep the hopes of getting to Indy alive. You know, you don't win this one, you don't move on. One goal, for one and oh. The only way to do that is if we're tough, physically tough. This is everything that I've dreamt of. I'm going to play for the chance at a championship. All the games have a little bit more of an edge to them during this time of the year. Every game for the rest of the season, I feel win or go home. Shoot, the East is a beast. 
Cardinals football, physical football. That's the Big Ten at its best. It's old school. You get that first hit in. The road to Indy, you know, has to go through Columbus, but um, they're playing for some too. They're gonna have to go through us. We have a better football team. You know? All we gotta do is go out there and prove it. Let's go do it. Red zone is going to be a really big deal in this game today. Michigan State, for all of the yardage that they've given up, they've been much better in the red zone than overall. Ohio State, meanwhile, has had some struggles recently. You see where they rank 110th in terms of converting it into touchdowns, whereas Michigan State, one of the best in the country, and once you get inside their 20, they're putting up the stop sign. Final pick, Kirk's calling the game. He will not make the pick. Who wins, Michigan State or Ohio State, Desmond? Well, Michigan State played Purdue. I said this would be uh, Coach Tucker's greatest coaching job so far if they were to beat Purdue because I thought he had to get his team up for that and they lost that game. This would be the second greatest job if he's to win this one because you, this team has so much talent at the Buckeyes. I don't think that Michigan State can match the talent, so I got the Buckeyes winning. Yeah, we also have the Buckeyes. Let me tell you what I'd like to see. I want Ohio State to come out to be the aggressors right away. And I'm not talking physically. These kids are going to be fired up already. What I'm talking about is Ryan Day and the coaching staff when it comes to play calling. I feel like they can take some risks early on. This isn't trestle ball anymore. I want them to see first down possessions just as important as third down possessions. And I think that they should be going for some fourth down calls as well. And so I want to see if we land a few of those punches early on, then the Spartans are going to be on their heels even more than they already are coming into this environment. Nice. We're wrapping up the national anthem. LC, you're going to make a pick today? There is no love like your first love. <laughs> and Brutus was my first love. Yeah. And so in, when in doubt, love conquers all. <laughs> Give me Brutus. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.